Hi guys, it's Rick Shields down here at Quest Golf Studio here in Lytham, and I'm gonna do an updated what's in the back. Last time I did this was January, and most things have changed in the set, but now this is my set for open qualifying. This is it. Nothing changes in this set right now. I'm so happy with every club that's in the bag currently. So let's go through it. I'm gonna go through every club, including my ball, including what other equipment I might be using at the moment. And we're gonna start off with the longest serving club in this bag, and that's my driver. So I've been using the TaylorMade M1 460cc head since September. I really like this driver a lot. I've got it in 9.5. I use the standard loft, I don't change the loft. And you can see there from the weight, I have the back weight all the way to the back. So effectively the most forgiving setting, not the lowest spin. And then I have this front weight just slightly in the fade biased. Sometimes I move that further onto the fade if I'm not quite feeling confident that I'm hitting it straight enough. If I'm hitting it brilliant, I try and get it back to neutral. So I've, I've effectively got it in the M2 setting, but I, pr I just like the M1, so there's no point in me changing to the M2. I love the face. You can see those spots on the, on the actual driver. If you ever see those spots on a driver, that's to be used in conjunction with my uh, GC2 and HMT. So when I actually practice, the dots help measure how the club's coming through the ball so I can kind of monitor things that are going on in my own swing. I love the crown on this. I love the contrast between the black and the white, the carbon and the the back and then the white contrast at the front. I've got this in the uh, Aldila Rogue. Just, just pick that up. Come on, pick up. Aldila Rogue, extra stiff, 70 gram shaft. There you go. It's just about picking up. There you go. Which again, I, I really like. I've got no issues with this driver at all. There's been drivers this season that I've very much liked. There's been some fantastic equipment out this season but nothing that wants to make this go out the bag nothing that's wanted to replace this um, and i can't see anything at the moment replacing this i really like it a lot then moving into the next club down so give you an idea i normally on the golf course hit that between 280 and 300 yards my three wood uh, sorry my driver then my next club down my three wood now for me a three wood i don't use that often in the on the course i would say out of every club in my whole set my three wood is the least used set only because the next club down from that i'm so incredibly confident with which i'll tell you about in a second but i'd still need a three wood because the gap between my next club down and my driver is still too big this is probably for me my most favorable three wood i've had for a long time because I don't use it that often, when I do demand it, it works for me. And this is the Callaway XR16 3 wood. So brand new this season. I've got this in 15 degrees. And it's just a really nice club. It's shallow enough. This is the normal version, so not the pro version. This is just the standard 3 wood. So it's non-adjustable. I really like this head. And again, because I don't use it that often, when I do get it out of the set, I like the fact it works. I like the fact that I can hit it, even though I've not been hitting it a lot. Where's the shaft? So a speed of 565, fairway, evolution, X, flex, shaft. And again, normally I hit that between 260 and 280. The next club down is my absolute most favorite club in the bag. I love this next club. And because of that, I end up using it a lot. Certainly when I'm not maybe hitting the driver quite as well, I end up using this club a hell of a lot. This is the Callaway Apex UT. So it's like a, a two iron slash three iron. I, I class it as my three iron, even though it's uh, probably the loft of a two iron. I've got this in 18 degrees. It's a forged head, so it feels really soft. It is hollow. I use it loads off the tee for safety. It goes about 250 yards for me, this club. I've got this in the Project X 6.5 shaft. And because it does go that kind of 250 yards, when I don't feel super confident with the big sticks, driver or maybe even three wood, I go straight to that because I feel so confident that the misses aren't ever that bad. What I also like about this, this three iron slash two iron is I can hit it high, I can hit it low, I can do a level of shaping with it, which again is really, really good for when you're trying to hit it off the tee. Hit it off the fairway, hit it out the rough, very versatile. And the reason why I use this instead of a hybrid, because I find for me a hybrid just goes up. I can't seem to flight it lower. So this gives me kind of variation. I can hit it all different types of ways. Then I've got, I've gone from 18 degrees, I go four degrees downwards. 
And this is the longest iron that I carry in my in my set, apart from obviously the two slash three iron we see there. This is the Ben Hogan Fort Worth 15 High Iron. So this is a brand new club in the set. This is a, like a big version of a blade. I really like this because it goes very high. It gives me the ball flight that I want when I'm hitting my forehand. I want to hit it high into greens. It's a forged head. You can see a bit of the blue marking off the uh, golf ball there, actually. It's a blue head. Very similar. Sorry. It's a forged head. Very similar to my Fort Worth 15 iron, but just chunkier, bigger, which is what I kind of needed, really. I carry all my irons in the Dynamic Gold X100 shaft. What I liked about the four iron of that, or the 22 degrees, which is probably a little bit strong for a four iron actually, is that it get, again, it gives me that ball flight that it just goes up. When I hit my four iron particularly, I'm hitting it into a very long par three or a super long par, you know, par four or par five where I'm really trying to land it on the green. It's not so much for distance, it's more for trying to get it to drop straight down. And I find that the four iron does that for me brilliantly. Then moving into my set, I go four degrees down all the way to my pitching wedge. And these are brand new clubs I've got in the set. These are the Ben Hogan PTX irons. Now, you might be familiar, I was using the Ben Hogan's already, but the Fort Worth 15, the bladed version. And the reason why I moved to this set, this is the seven iron, so 34 degrees, I class as my seven iron. The reason why I moved to the PTX irons is it because it, it, they felt identical to my current irons. They flew absolutely identical to my current iron, which was the, the blade. They feel exactly the same, but they were just a little bit chunkier. So when I do actually address it behind the ball, for me, it just gave me a level of confidence. It wasn't super kind of bladed. It gave me a level of confidence. I actually felt I could stand there and hit it well, even though I might not have been feeling super confident. It gave me a level of confidence. The slightly bigger top line. The big thing for me, they had to feel the same and fly the same as my my last set they had to again irons i've tested loads of fantastic irons this season and many times i thought i was going to change for something different i really did so, something like the apex pros i loved i also loved the tailor-made uh, psi tours uh, i'm trying to think of some other ones but there's many times this season that i've really loved irons but none of them felt as good as these for me what i also quite like is they're a little bit different you know, not everyone uses the Ben Hogan irons, and I kind of like that. Ben Hogan as well, they were, they were kind of crafty in this. They actually put on all of the necks, hashtag quest for the open. And I'm kind of a little bit, I quite like those little touches. You know, and they're, they're just little personalizations. And for me, that kind of concreted the change, because I didn't really need to change from my blades. I was liking my blades, but once I'd hit these and tested them and know, knew that they flew the same and felt the same. A little bit of a detailing, sold, I'm done. The only club I, I kept from the blade was the pitching wedge. So this is my 46 degree club. This is my Fort Worth 15 normal blade. Um, I didn't like the blade from the PTX set. It was just a little bit too chunky. So I stuck with the blade version of the, uh, the pitching wedge, which I really like. Then from my 46, is my biggest gap through throughout my set. I go from 46 to 52, which is a six degree gap. I did originally have 50, 54, 58, but I found I needed more loft at the, the end. I needed a 60 degree club. So that meant I just had to gap my wedges slightly differently. So I use the Titleist Voki SM6 wedges in black finish. I have it in 52, with the F grind. I have it in 56 with the S grind. And I have it in 60 with the M grind. So F grind is full grind. So for full shots, ideally. S grind is for quite a wristy action. Which again, I like doing that with my 56. I like messing about with the face, opening it up a little bit. And the M grind is the manipulation grind. So allowing me to really open that club face up. To add as much loft as possible. Again, it's just a little things. When when Voki or Tyler sent me these, they actually stamped RS into the, into the head. So for my initials... It's those little touches that I just kind of like. I don't need them. You know, I was, I was happy with the wedges. But these came into the set in January. And they've not been out since. At first, they didn't feel quite as good as the current wedges that I was using, which was the Callaway MD3s. 
but over time I've, I've become really accustomed to the feel of these wedges and, and now I, I couldn't see them replacing anytime soon. Then the newest club. So they, they all seem quite new, but I've got a new, new club. This was the last club in my set that I needed to change because all of the other clubs I was really happy with. But I kept bouncing between putters all the time. And if you've seen any of the course logs that I've done, you'll probably notice out of this season, I've probably used six different putters. Never, I've never been for a putter fitting until now. So I went to see my putting coach, Lee Sullivan at Torex Golf in Wigan, and he fitted me up for this. This is the Odyssey Works Cruiser 1, and it's the tank version. It's a vice versa head, so I love the fact that it's got the silver, the black, then the silver. Very similar to Danny Willett's putter, but Danny Willett, who won the Masters this season, had a slightly wider version, so a bigger headed version. I've had this in the bag now for a week, and I'm already starting to see some very good results with it. It is a tank version, so it comes with weights. I've actually dropped, funny enough, I've actually dropped the weight port down the bottom of the bag just at the start of this video, so I'll be getting that out later. I've not messed about with the weights just yet. I've got 15 in the toe and the heel. This is a 38, no, it's not. It's a 35-inch putter, sorry, but it's got, it's a counterbalance putter, so it's a little bit longer. And I really like the look of this head. I've got a 15 gram weight in the top of the crown, as top of the butt end as well. You might just be able to see that. It's a thicker handle, which because I hold it in the claw, I really like. And I just love the idea that I can actually line that face up a lot better because it's in that vice versa head. That now is my set complete. That was the only club I needed in my bag that was going to make a big difference. And now that is done, complete. Nothing changes. Nothing. Give you an idea on the ball I use. I use the Callaway Chrome Soft, which I've used probably for about, I don't know, maybe 10 months or so now. Really like this ball. I keep swaying to move to a Pro V1, but I kind of find it hard to move away from this at the moment. What I also like about this, the V in the middle, I kind of put I and a Y next to it for my daughter's name, Ivy. When I'm out on the course, little lucky charm. Um, but I, I like that ball. It feels soft enough. That's how I've always probably used Pro V1 in the past. And I still feel like I might switch to that. Probably not before the Open. Probably not before the Open. Glove I've been using, new glove, the new uh, Under Armour glove, which again I've really liked. Gloves for me all feel pretty much the same, but I've really liked this one. Keeps all in, in, with my Under Armour kind of clothing. Um, I've been using this Bushnell. So this is the Tor X Bushnell. I've got the black top on at the end at the moment, which is not the slope version. I can actually switch that over to the red cap when I'm practicing so I can work out slope, etc. But I'm liking this. It took me a while to adjust to it because it was a smaller version than my current Bushnell, which took a little bit of time just to adjust to it. But now I'm adjusted to it, it's much quicker. You'll also see I'm rocking a new tour bag. So again, Ben Hogan very much looked after me. Just to make you aware, I am not paid for any single golf club that's in my set. Not a single one. So the clubs that I use are ones that I like. That is it. I love this bag. They stuck my name on it. They sent it me, so I'm gonna use it. Guys, I've got loads of tour bags, but I'm just a big fan of this one as well. I think it just sits in quite nicely. And again, because it's different, you see all tailor-made and Callaway tour bags all around when I play in these events, but no one's got a, a, a Ben Hogan tour bag. So I quite like that. The last little thing I wanted to show you is this. I've been using this recently. This is a ball marker. Um, a guy sent it me a few years back, actually, funny enough. I'll try and put a link in the description. And what I like about this is what I've been doing is lining my line up with the lines on the back of the um, ball marker there to help me line up when I'm putting. And that's been, I've had that in the set for a, probably about four, four or so rounds now. And just really enjoying that, put that actual fact that I can line up. Guys, I'll put a link in below. That was just a guy who randomly sent me this. Um, I don't mind giving a, giving a bit of a shout out to that. So that is it, the finished article. These are the clubs that I'm going to use for open qualifying. That is it. Honestly, not a single club is going to change. I've got a month before open qualifying. I already feel ready with every club. I just need to get slightly more adjusted to the putter. But that won't take me long. And that is it. Guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this new What's in the Bag updated version. The next time you'll see one will be maybe at the back end of the year, but nothing in the immediate future. These clubs are staying. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget, as always, do subscribe to the channel. Comment below what clubs do you use. What clubs would you like in this set?
Would you like any of these bad boys? <laughs> Good to hear if you do. Um, I look forward to seeing you soon. These are the clubs. These are the weapons. We'll see you next time.